you're having trouble graphing latitude and longitude coordinates on a map, this video is hopefully going to help you. I always compare this to graphing ordered pairs in math. That's something most students have been doing for years. Um, sometimes you just kind of graph quadrant one, which is this area over here, but you, you get the idea of how to graph an ordered pair. It's very similar to latitude and longitude. Here in this example, I'm showing that the red dot is at 4, 2. That's the ordered pair. It's located at 4 spots over on the x-axis and 2 spots up on the y. x-axis is here. That's the number that corresponds to the x-axis. And here's the y-axis. The 2 corresponds to here on the y. So 4 comma 2 would be there. Where would this blue dot be? Check your work. The blue dot right here would be two spots over on the x. And on the y axis, it would be three units down. So that's at two, negative three. This, the whole concept of graphing ordered pairs is perfectly in line with graphing latitude and longitude. Except instead of a y-axis and an x-axis, think of it as the x-axis is the equator, So when you're graphing, um, the x is the equator, the y is the prime meridian, the point right here would be the blue dot, three degrees south of the equator, one, two, three degrees south, and two degrees east of the prime meridian, that's where that lines up. So actually, the prime meridian and the equator words are kind of getting in the way here. So still imagine that they're there, but I'm going to just clean this up a tiny bit. So this point right here, 3 degrees south, this is the equator, 3 degrees south is there, 2 degrees east of the prime meridian would be there, trace those lines until they intersect, and it's right there at the coordinate 3 degrees south, 2 degrees east. Where is the red dot? So now figure out where the red dot is using latitude and longitude. The red dot is at two, 2 degrees north of the equator, 4 degrees east of the prime meridian. Now here's, I said there was a difference between graphing ordered pairs and graphing latitude and longitude, and here's kind of where it is. The latitude is listed before the longitude. So it kind of reverses what you would typically see in an ordered pair. You'd see the x coordinate, then the y, or the, the x location and the y. Here you're seeing sort of the y and then the x. It's reversing the order. 
2 degrees north is 2 degrees up on the y-axis. Um, so that, that's kind of where people get confused. It's a switch of the order. Um, but latitude is listed first in, in a coordinate, and longitude is listed second. Another thing that gets confused a lot is which one is latitude, which one's longitude. Is latitude horizontal? Um, is it up and down? And here's a huge tip to help. So look at your mouth in the mirror or turn to your partner and, and look at their mouth when they say the word latitude. You'll notice when you say latitude that your lips kind of make a horizontal line. Latitude. And when you say longitude, you've got an up and down kind of longwise line. So latitude is horizontal, latitude is flat, it's lateral, and the longitude lines are the ups and the downs. Those guys. So latitude, latitude, horizontal, longitude, up and down. really quickly graph a few real life locations. So um, 30 degrees south, 120 degrees east. Where would that be? Well, I could take my fingers and put it at 30 degrees south, 120 degrees east, and then just trace those lines till they meet. Or I could take a ruler and do that, or I could just draw little dotted lines. find where they intersected. Just right there. So 30 degrees south, 120 degrees east would be in Austria. Uh, 75 degrees south, 100, 75 degrees south, 60 degrees east. 75 degrees south, 60 degrees east. Here's where 75 degrees south is. 60 degrees east is there. They intersect in what is Antarctica. And the last example, 45 degrees north, 90 degrees west. We're finding 45 degrees north of the equator, which is there. 90 degrees west of the prime meridian. They intersect in North America. So hopefully this is somewhat helpful when you find yourself struggling with latitude and longitude coordinates.